Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the elements of a software configuration management. So in the last lecture, we discussed about the components of a software quality assurance, guys. Right? Yes. So in that, the third component is this only, right? The software configuration management. Okay. So basically, what exactly happens with the software configuration management is that we'll be discussing in this lecture, guys. Okay? Yes. So the first thing that you should remember is software configuration management okay so this is a post you can say guys okay so in some companies so whatever product based companies which we are having so this post will be there okay so software configuration management so what this guy will be doing guys so basically his duty is to manage all the codes so basically assume that there is a huge office guys okay with 100 employees so in that situation and all those 100 employees are working on a single project okay so in this situation so there is a no the, that the project is divided in such a way that each and every module will not collapse with others right yes so even it is decided in that way but someday they should combine their codes right so how they are going to combine so if this guy combines these two codes it's okay okay yes so because they are two friends and they made they made it possible but how can he understand all the other 99 codes and combine them easily it will be a bit complex to him, right? Yes. So that is the reason why the SCM is nothing but our software configuration management. Okay. That guy, every day, he will combine all these codes, guys. So basically, every day, once the project module or some part of that is developed. So at that time, he will be taking that module. He will be combining with this original code and he'll be, he'll be making it live. So in that way, this guy will help, guys. Okay. And one more thing is that so whenever these guys are starting coding so assume that they are working on a single project means they will be using some common files right yes so in that situation if this first guy updated some file so each and every one should also get the updated file right yes so again our scm is the king here so basically he is the one who will take care of that also so nowadays we are having github and all those things so basically you can update the code and it will update there and your friend can also download it and he can use it but previously these are not there right yes so at that at that time he is the one who will be managing all these things so he is an indirect worker of a github so he does all the work so basically he will take this file he will update update that file to the server and the rest of all the files will download that copy and they will use so he is the one who is managing all those things okay and he is the one who will take care of the versions also so basically they will be saying uh, version 1.2 version 1.3 so what are the changes in them so he is the one who will be writing the service notes so basically they will be writing right so in this update these are the new components which are added so service patches they will be saying that update patches they will be saying so all those things will be managed by this guy okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes so he, here are the four things which he will be doing there are multiple things guys these are the four main things you can say he will be doing the component identification version control configuration builds and changing the control so basically he is the main guy guys in simple words you can say so he will be managing all the things okay so i think everyone can go through the theoretical part right or shall i go through some points at least Okay, so let me go through some points at least so that you can continue the concept, right? Yes. So component identification. So a basic software configuration management activity is the identification of software component that makes up a delivery deliverable at each point of its development. So software configuration management provides guidelines to identify and name software baselines, software components and everything. So basically component identification is nothing but so I told you right the SSEM is the one who will be taking care of all those namings and all those things. So basically he will name the files and everything in a proper way so that if someone else newly comes he can he should be able to understand the previous code right yes. So he is the one who will be taking care of all this component identification names the version names okay so the version numbers are 2.9 to 3.1 in that way he will be naming so that it will be clear for the upcoming batches or to other 99 co-workers so basically this update done by this guy cannot be understood by each and everyone easily right so this naming conventions and all those things will make it easy okay similarly the next is version control so that's what i told you right so basically whenever there is any kind of small changes occurred so the version numbers will be in this way also guys so basically assume that this is a major update so it will be 5.1 some small update will be in this way so too much small update will be in this way whereas in companies it might go up to in this way also like 11.111 in that way in that much depth also it will go guys 
because every day they will build something new right so if there is some calculator application assume in that way so day one they will build the number pattern all those things day two they will they will add some multiplication operation day three addition operation like that i'm giving you a small example but for a huge project like this they will make into components and slowly they will work up guys so that is the reason why the versions will change okay yes and configuration of builds okay yes so i think you can go through the both next to both right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right about the software configuration management okay so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the software quality assurance plan so what is that plan what are the steps and how they follow them we will be discussing in the next lecture guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching